Now let's go to Alicia Reed with more information on the suspect's long criminal record and how police were able to track him down. It's really incredible, Alicia. Good evening, Jess. That's right. Within the last hour, Philadelphia's District Attorney Larry Krasner said he is heartbroken at the heinous crimes Keith Gibson is being charged with. He also says his office is dedicated to finding justice for the families that have been affected both in Philadelphia and here in Delaware. Locked up at the Howard Young Correctional Institute. Keith Gibson is undergoing a routine health evaluation while awaiting the outcome of legal proceedings. Wilmington police were able to arrest the murder suspect after a robbery at the 4th Street Rite Aid yesterday morning. We're told during the armed robbery, an employee managed to put a GPS tracker in the bag of cash, which helped police locate him. The 39-year-old was arrested about a block away and taken into custody. I'm hoping that this is the final and, you know, people can move forward. The accused serial killer is suspected in a series of homicides. Currently charged with a number of felonies, Gibson is being held on $305,000 cash-only bail. The recent string of murders is being tied to Keith Gibson's name, starting with his mother's murder back in February. Christine Gibson, who dedicated her life to helping people in recovery, was at work in East Falls, Philadelphia when she was killed. Loved ones feared her only son had something to do with it. We suspicion, but we had no proof. Christine's body was discovered by her colleague and friend, Linda. It was devastating to find her in that condition. If he needs some help, then get him some help. I just wish that he, they could have got him some help before. Now, Gibson has an extensive rap sheet. He was on probation for a manslaughter charge he was convicted of back in 2010. For now, he will remain here while arraignment and extradition matters work their way through the courts. Reporting live from Wilmington, Delaware, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.